Good evening, everyone. Uh, this is National Membership Director Heather Vardell. And tonight's webinar, we are going to talk about rebuilding existing chapters. So um, keep in mind, these are chapters that, number one, already have their charter. Number two, we're um, assuming they have a couple of active members albeit um, probably a little overwhelmed or uh, maybe um, a little burnt out and stuff like that. So we are going to talk about how to rebuild these chapters to get them up to 30 active members at minimum, strong projects and programming with a solid chapter plan of action. Good. Tonight's objectives are uh, what the meeting of the members on the roster will look like, your next couple of meetings, the board planning session, the national programs you definitely need to be aware of, the membership survey and how this could look a little bit different than the membership survey that's on the website, the chapter structure, uh, projects, new ideas, signature projects and how all of that will play out and then how your state organization can assist you with this rebuilding process because it's definitely a team effort and takes at least a solid six months to rebuild a chapter from start to finish. So the chapter rebuilds, meeting number one, you will send out an email to only the members on the roster. This is very important because this first meeting is not always a positive meeting. Um, not always uh, the most fun part. I would definitely shoot for having somebody from the state team um, to be there to help uh, move the process along. Um, but this is a time where you kind of air it out, air out what's, uh, what went wrong, how each person felt that they got to this point in the, um, in, at the current state of where the chapter is. Um, this is not a time for blaming anyone or that type of negativity, but more or less what went wrong and how we can move forward. Um, at the end of this meeting, however, each person who's going to be a part of the chapter rebuild needs to agree that whatever went wrong, whatever confessions or um, troubles or, for lack of a better word, drama, happened will stay in the past because your next meetings are all going to be about positive and rebuilding. Um, this is also a time where you will set out um, the next date, time, and location. For um, consistency, I would recommend the same date, um, day of the month for so the second Tuesday, third Thursday, second Wednesday, what have you, um, time and location to all be consistent for the remaining of the meetings for the rest of the year. <clears throat> this is when you'll start putting together a potential member list. So who would you bring in for the next meetings to talk about the organization and try to recruit and use to, um, to help rebuild the chapter? Uh, this is also time to talk about the branding. So um, I've had a handful of rebuilds where they have to totally drop the JC name due to negative imaging. So do you want to go to JCI uh, city, town, county, what have you, or does the JC name still have a positive name, and that's what you want to keep it as. Um, that's an internal decision. Um, if you are on the state team at this point, you would not be a part of this discussion. This is a decision that the uh, members only will make. Um, and this is where you um, end with definitely getting some buy-in on, on what changes need to be made and that you're willing to be open-minded to the new leadership that will be uh, brought in um, and some changes that can be made along the way. Uh, this would also be a good time to start signing up for the Shoot for Success program, especially if the chapter rebuilds do not have any past um, plan of actions to look to. If it's a chapter that does have some solid plan of action, you might could wait um, until you have a few more active members to sign up for the program. But if there are no active um, or past plan of actions that seem to be helpful, now would be a good time to shine up, sign up for the Shoot for Success program so that uh, the program manager can start uh, helping build a plan of action. So the next couple meetings are very similar to a um, 
a new a chartering a new chapter. These are um, informal meetings where you're just trying to recruit um, for the potential members, share what it is to be a JC, uh, bring um, materials. So you'll want to get some folders from Edie Joel, um, have some membership surveys. This is when um, I'll go over this a little bit later in the survey or on a survey specific slide. But if, if this chapter specifically has uh, signature projects, especially if they're very well known in the community, put those um, on the survey. So what do they know about the project? What um, kind of some information about how the project uh, runs? Be very open and honest with them about it. Um, and then just have some other information about passport to civic leadership, the meeting structure, benefits of being a member. I make sure to leave some time at the end. These meetings should only be about a half hour. You don't want them to be overwhelming for your potential members. Leave time for questions and answers at the end. Also, keep in mind that it's okay to not know the answer to every question. Um, if they ask a question that you're just unsure of, it's totally fine, actually even preferred, if you just say, you know, I'm not sure of that answer, but I'll get back in touch with you. And this will give you a time to not only reconnect with that potential member, but to show the value of follow-up that we have in the organization. Um, and then leave time for a little bit of planning at the end of each meeting. So those uh, members that um, are helping you rebuild, y'all can meet um, about 20, 25 minutes after the informal uh, informational meeting about where you are in the planning process. Um, you know, you're going to set a realistic goal of uh, how many members it will take to get to the 20 mark, how many, you know, take a hard look at the database and how many of those members are going to renew, how many of those members are going to be active, how many of those members um, can you count on when it comes time for your big signature projects, and be very realistic on what it's going to take to get you to that 20 and 30 and so on mark. Um, and that you'll meet about that at the end of each one of these meetings just to stay on track. Um, and then, obviously, you want to continue to rebuild, so you're going to challenge even the potential members to bring one to three prospects with them at the next meeting. And you're going to want to keep hosting these until you get to 10 to 15 solid members. So that's why there's anywhere from two to five meetings. Um, these aren't always easy meetings to have. Um, sometimes it can take up to five, and sometimes it can take more. If you're getting past five members, I would reach out to someone on the state team or even your national vice president or myself on to kind of go over what you're doing and why aren't you getting to that 15 to 20 mark because you should be there with at least five, uh, five meetings. All right, so um, this is after however many meetings it takes you to get to that uh, 20 mark. Um, you are going to host a board planning session. Um, and for those of you who attended the last webinar, that yes, this is the same slide because a board planning session will be the same in a chapter rebuild uh, versus a um, new chapter. The only difference with a chapter rebuild is, is that um, there could be a little bit of pushback between the newer members and the older members. Um, I would recommend having a state team member there just to kind of move things along and be there as a sounding board. Um, of course, be open and honest that this could take anywhere from four to eight hours. You want to make sure everyone has something to write with and on in their calendar, whether it be a paper calendar or an electronical calendar. I would use the template from the JCI USA website of the plan of action and bring a hard copy for each person, focusing on some short-term and long-term goals but make sure that they're extremely realistic. The only difference between this type of planning session and a new chapter planning session is most existing chapters have that one signature project um, that takes a lot of manpower, and that's probably the reason why a lot of um, members are burnt out and different things. But you want to talk about that, um, that signature project and what it will take to run it financially and everything like that. And we'll go into that a little bit more later on in this, um, in this webinar. And then um, you'll want to enter into the Civic Leadership Certification Program regardless of what time of year it is. At this point, if you're rebuilding a chapter, 
I would not do um, a chapter plan from today until the end of this year. I would just go on and do an 18-month plan. So from today to the end of next year. Um, because it's a lot easier to map out and set goals in that time frame than have um, just short-term goals because you want some long-term goals as well. And then you're going to want to have each uh, of your new board members enter into the um, pass enroll in the Passport to Civic Leadership Program. It's going to be very difficult for them to uh, promote that program and try to engage new members in that program if they themselves don't understand it and aren't enrolled in it. Um, one good thing about the chapter rebuilds with, um, is if they do have past PMGs, which are more likely CPGs, um, this would be a time to go through some of those, look at some of the projects they've done in the past, learn from their mistakes, utilize their contacts and different stuff like that. Um, but if the chapter does have past PMGs or CPGs, this would be a good time to look through those um, to help put together the plan of action as well. We've, um, so the national programs I'll go over, um, but no matter at what point they enroll in them um, throughout this process, as a state and national officer, if you're on here, um, or if you are the local leaders looking to rebuild, these are the three programs um, you should definitely, definitely, definitely uh, be utilizing in your chapter rebuild. The CLC will help you stay on track with your plan of action. It'll help um, hold you accountable, not only in your finances, but your goals, and just really helping you be a well-rounded, well-developed, efficient chapter. The Shoot for Success program, if, so for example, if your rebuild does not have past chapter plans of action, they can help you write a chapter plan of action. The first level of the Shoot for Success is for you to have 30 active members. So some of you are probably sitting there saying, well, we have 45 in the database. But the reason you're on this webinar is because you don't have an actual active membership base and you want to rebuild that. So the Shoot for Success program, its goals overall is to get you to 30 active members. So 30 people showing up at meetings, 30 people showing up at projects, 30 people actively engaging in your local chapter. And then, of course, Passport to Civic Leadership. This program is by far one of the most important programs for our members. So when you have a new member join the organization and they come to you and they're like, okay, well, what now? How do I get involved? How do I, what do I need to do? Passport to Civic Leadership. This opens up every area of opportunity that the organization has to offer. This allows them to find their niche in the organization and what they're really and truly passionate about. And I think we can all agree that once the member finds what they're passionate about, then you have a member for life. Membership survey. So this is the survey that is on the JCI USA website. The only difference in a chapter rebuild is I would add into it some information about your signature projects here. Um, I will be honest with you, um, chapter rebuilds, sometimes those signature projects, this will be the breaking point on whether or not they stay a project or they no longer or are a project. Um, you'll have new leadership coming in, you'll have new members coming in. But this is a time um, for you to give all of that information to them and let um, them as the new leadership decide on what's best for the chapter and where to take it. But you want to make sure that they have all the information in this membership survey about those um, signature projects because a lot of them are great projects that are pillars in the community and they are worth saving and continuing. And this is your way to show them and give them that information to make sure that they want to continue that. So the chapter structure, obviously there's the membership, which is single-handedly the most important part of our structure. There's a local chapter president. <coughs> Excuse me. The only difference um, on the levels now are the vice presidents. Um, so do you want to have a, oh, there's a typo there. 
internal, external, and executive vice presidents. The internal vice president handles the internal communication and the individual development, um, everything inside what the chapter needs are. So um, training, guest speakers, membership database, the membership database, stuff like that. External are the community relations, the uh, press, the PR, the, all the external parts of your chapter being engaged in the community. And the executive vice president is nine times out of ten the person who is going to take over as um, local chapter president for the following year. Um, and that person can assist with uh, Sorry, it looks like somebody was trying to ask a question. Um, the, the executive vice president um, assists the local chapter president in um, paperwork, so the CLC program, engaging them in, in the national and state programs, and uh, runs the meetings if the local chapter president cannot be um, cannot be uh, available. Christina, it looks like you have your hand raised. Um, can you type in the question section your question, please? Um, and then as you grow at, and to um, pass the 30 member mark, I would look into the four VP section, and that is membership, community, individual development, and management. This would um, break, one, it would give you uh, more breakdown um, of the different areas of opportunity, and it would give you a chance to allow for more leadership um, opportunities. Secretary and treasurer, that can be combined in the beginning if you're um, board decides that they want to do that, or you can keep them um, separate. <coughs> Excuse me. This day and age, your local board should have a web administrator, someone who can um, update your database, I mean, excuse me, update your website, update all your social media, when someone new moves to town or when someone's looking for a young professional organization or a leadership development organization, the first place they're going to look is the, is the Internet. They're going to Google you. They're going to look you up on Facebook. This has to at all times be updated. So this is, at, this is absolutely one of the most important roles in a chapter rebuild to make sure that all of your social media and your website is updated. If you do not have a a website um, and you want a website, JCI USA offers you um, a free rep website with, um, with, with your charter. So you can just email E.D. Joel and he can get that set up for you. But it is absolutely the most important thing for you to do is to maintain your um, social media and internet presence, especially in a positive manner. Um, this would be a good time for this person to research um, maybe some past history, especially, like I said at the beginning, when you have, um, we were assuming you would have a handful of people wanting to rebuild. Maybe you don't have anybody that wants to rebuild, but the charter still exists, so this is the state coming in to help rebuild it. What went wrong? Um, what's out there on the web about the um, local chapter? That's why this position is so, so, so important. And then you also want to leave rooms for directors and project chairmen. This is a time when you could really, really, really build these um, positions into strong, potent, strong transitions into leadership. Each um, vice president um, can help get their own project chairman, um, have a director under them for a quarter to learn under them to see which area they prefer. Um, rotating them around so they get different um, experiences and uh, really figure out what which direction their leadership path is. If um, each one of the vice presidents really buys into this 
um, and takes new members under their wing as you grow. So you have to keep in mind those that are elected from this point on likely will be the leadership for the 2017 chapter. So this could help avoid burnout come 2018 and eliminating that trend that we see with the same two, three, four people just rotating on the board. If they really take ownership of um, mentoring the newer members as they come in. And yes, I realize that a lot of these local leaders at this point are new members themselves, but what sets them aside or apart from other new members is they have taken that next step at being um, a local leader. <clears throat> new project ideas versus signature projects. This would be the only time when it could get a little dicey in rebuilding chapters. I've rebuilt several chapters and have been in the room where it gets really uncomfortable, especially as um, a state officer not, in, um, not involved in, in the local aspect of whether or not a signature project should remain a project of the chapter or whether new ideas should be the main focus. Um, and at this point, the best thing I can tell you to do is when, when we are elected, the majority um, of the will prevails. So if that's what the majority votes is what's best, then that's what we all have to honor, whether you um, agree with it or not. So for the signature projects, this is a time for the more seasoned members who have been around to bring um, and pass along the PMGs and CPGs really have an open and honest discussion about what this project means to the chapter and to the community and the calls for what it raises money for or brings awareness to, the amount of manpower and expectations of the chapter and the members, um, and the finances for the project. The finances for this specific project could not match, might not match the finances in the current state of the chapter. But this is a time for the seasoned members to really show the new members and the new leadership what this signature project really means and why it's important to keep. Um, this should be um, an open meeting between um, all parties and if if you feel that you need a state um, representative there just to assist in that process, by all means invite someone. Um, but as a state officer you should not uh, you, you should not be present at this type of meeting unless you're specifically invited. Um, these are some of just the differences between rebuilds and um, new brand new chapters. Um, and throughout the entire process, I would say quarterly, you should be doing um, new member um, surveys on new project ideas based on your plan of action as local leaders. So at the end of 2017, what do you want to accomplish? In the next six months, what do you want to have accomplished? So what type of projects play into, um, into that? And uh, active citizenship framework, you want to put out a community survey. What are the community needs so that you can plan projects around those needs as well? And you also want to be extremely realistic with um, the projects and the goals. Even though this is a chapter rebuild, essentially the only difference um, between a chapter, this chapter rebuild is you started with hopefully a couple new members and you don't have to pay the new charter fee. So you still want to maintain that realistic expectation of a new chapter because you aren't up and running um, as a solid chapter just yet. <clears throat> and then how the state organization can assist you. Um, you want to have a representative at the roster meeting, um, the roster only meeting, because you want to just make sure that they're not sitting there um, hashing out what went wrong and pointing fingers and having that quote drama discussion for hours on end. And it's also your responsibility as a state officer to make sure when they leave that meeting that all of that negativity and all of that is staying at that meeting. From this point forward, we're going to be positive. We are going to rebuild the chapter. We're going to work together as a team. And yes, we understand that a lot of things happen and that's how we got to where we are, but talking about it isn't going to change it or fix it. We have to move forward and we're all in agreements and we're all on the same page. The state organization can help you 
with the national programs that we talked about in the program manager's contact information, why these programs are important if you need a little bit more information, especially if you've never even heard of any of these programs, why these programs need to be utilized. Um, if invited, a chapter, a state or a state officer um, should attend the planning session, even if it's just to make sure um, that uh, there is just a neutral person in there. Um, so in case there's any clashing of the older members and the new members, um, and they can kind of help remain a neutral party and talk through some of the signature projects versus the new projects, not necessarily inserting themselves in the discussion but making sure that it remains positive and that they um, help move the discussion along. And then be dead, a state officer needs to be dedicated to this rebuild for at least six months. Um, they should be um, at the, those informational meetings to help uh, with pass along the information and talk about the organization. I mean, we are a international organization, so when you're recruiting those new members, you're not only joining the local chapter, you're joining the state, national, and international. So to have a state, the state representative there shows the new potential member that, hey, there is a bigger organization outside the local chapter. Also, the state officer should attend those um, newer small projects that um, you're putting together for uh, um, under your chapter plan of action. So for any questions, you can certainly email me. Um, that This is my email address. All of the documents and all of the programs and everything discussed on this webinar is on the JCI USA website. That's the website. and um, You do have to log in and you go under um, JC Info and our library. Also reach out to your state president your national vice president, and anyone on the national team. Um, chapter rebuilds, again, they are not um, difficult. You, you have the structure there. You have the charter there. You have history there. The only um, real issue can come through um, is if you have some clashing between the more seasoned members and the newer members. But if you are a state officer on here, then um, that is your job to be that positive reinforcement there and to help move the discussion along. Um, so if you have any questions, I can take them. There should be a little question um, tab. If you don't want to open ask questions here, you can certainly email me your questions. If you would like a copy of this webinar, um, I can certainly email it to you if you request. I've also recorded it and it will be available tomorrow when Katie gets into the office. Um, if there aren't any further questions, I hope you all have a great Wednesday night and thank you so much for joining us.